Traveling through the Three Kingdoms, he became an unparalleled general named Pan Fong, and even bowed to General Xing Darong of Lingling and our formidable General Lu Sandao, becoming his elder brother. Awakening the enemy killing system, killing enemies can make you stronger. Kill soldiers. Increase force. Kill the general. Strengthen your body. Complete task. Crazy point attributes. Kill famous generals. Obtain features. Kill combo. Can enhance weapons and equipment, and can also help sworn brothers improve their strength. At this point, Pan Fong embarked on an invincible path. Pan Fong. Heaven does not give birth to me, Pan Wushuang. The Great Han Dynasty will last forever like a long night. Lu Sandao. I am a relative of the Han family. I have three swords in martial arts and can slay LV Bu. There are three strategies in literature, which can revive the Han dynasty. Xing Daorong. I am General Xing Daorong from Lingling. If we unite, we will surely behead Hua Xiong. Sanha can slay Guan Yu. LV Bu, Pan Wushuang, truly Wushuang general, I might as well. Lu Bei. How can a phoenix be born, even if it is born? Chow Chow. I thought LV Bu was invincible in the world, but I didn't expect anyone to be even braver than him. Who's this? Yuan Shao. I have been four generations and three dukes, dominating the world, yet I was defeated by a single man's hand. Sun Jian. I am a fierce tiger from Jiangdong, but in Pan Feng's eyes, I am not as good as a little cat let's see how unmatched General Pan Fong leads two sworn brothers, pulls big skin, restores the great Han, proclaims himself emperor, unifies the world, and plans for eternal success. Keywords of the novel Three Kingdoms General Pan Fong, killing enemies can make you stronger. No pop-ups, Three Kingdoms General Pan Fong, killing enemies can make you stronger. Download the complete TXT collection, Three Kingdoms. General Pan Fong, you can become stronger by killing enemies. Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 Unmatched General Pan Fong The Yellow Turban Uprising You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Unmatched General Pan Fong The Yellow Turban Uprising In 184 AD, in the seventh year of Guanghe reign, Wuping County, Chen County, Yuzhou. A sixteen-year-old boy who is eight feet tall and has a jade-like face is practicing martial arts in the courtyard. Sai. After coming to this world and practicing martial arts for so many years, surprisingly, the strength value is only sixty-three. Is it difficult? Is the title of my unparalleled general called for nothing? Pan Fong said somewhat self-deprecatingly. Yes, Pan Fong. That unmatched general Pan Fong, who can slay Hua Xiong. Since coming into this world, he has awakened the enemy killing system. The enemy killing system has two functions, one is reconnaissance and the other is killing enemies. Investigation. You can view anyone's panel. Killing enemies. For every 10 soldiers killed on the battlefield, you can increase your strength by a little, with a maximum of 100 points. Each time you kill a third-rate or higher general, you can gain the ability to strengthen your body. Not activated, the system only has these two functions, which are monotonous and somewhat ordinary. Even so, only one of these two functions can be used. Nowadays, Pan Feng's attributes are Force 63 Intelligence 65 Physical Strength 69 As an unparalleled general, my intelligence is even higher than that of force. It has to be said that this is a shame. Especially when he practiced in winter and summer, he only achieved 63% of his strength. He also understands that this is the obstacle of talent. Fortunately, his brain was still normal, relying on the forward-looking vision of modern people in later generations, combined with his already wealthy family, he leapt to become a local wealthy businessman with a wealth of wealth. 
If it weren't for the upcoming Yellow Turban Uprising, you could just hang out and wait until you die to become a wealthy man, gamble money to play with birds and women, and occasionally give others a few copper coins. It would be very comfortable to think about it. Unfortunately, I can only think about it for a moment. This is the end of the Eastern Han Dynasty, the era of the Three Kingdoms. Big Brother. We're back. Suddenly, two men broke in from outside. One was seven feet tall, with a leopard head and eyes full of eyes. He was General Xing Darong of Lingling, while the other was eight feet tall, as thin as a monkey. He was the fierce General Lu Sandao of our troops. These two guys are helpers that Pan Fong finally found, with outstanding skills in similar ages. It's not that Pan Fong wants to recruit these two guys, it's just these two guys that he can find. He has been to Changshan, and Chen Lu has also been there. He has never encountered either Zhao Yun or Jian Wei. Anyway, he has only met these two people who are worthy of his reputation. At first glance, Lu Jian and Lu Sandao claimed to be descendants of the Han family and royal relatives, along with General Xing Darong of Lingling. When they were drunk, the three of them became sworn brothers. Although Pan Fong wanted to pretend that nothing had happened after waking up from a drunken state, saying goodbye these days is just saying goodbye and can't be relied upon anymore. At least, I am also a big brother. Lu Qian is the second and Xing Daorong is the third. Pan Fong looked at the two big men in the distance and used reconnaissance. Name Lu Gizi Sandao Force 56 Intelligence 45 Physical Strength 38 Name Xing Daorong Force 68 Intelligence 49 Physical Strength 56 These two guys, Xing Daorong's military strength is still very good, he is the highest among the three. He has such strength since he was only 15 years old, and he is already the best among the third-rate generals. His future growth will not be much worse. Lu Qian is much worse off. He is the same age as Pan Fong, but his military strength is only 50.6, which is not at the level of a regular general. In the future, he is probably only at most a second-rate general. Perhaps a third-rate general is his peak. Second brother, third brother, you all have returned. Pan Fong placed the long spear in her hand aside and walked towards the two of them head dot on. Have you done everything assigned to you? Big brother, don't worry, we are fully prepared. We can take the opportunity to cause trouble when the east wind you mentioned arrives. Lu Yen patted his chest and said with a smile on his face. Me too. Xing Daorong happily touched the back of his head. Okay. 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 Pan Fong said hello three times in a row, and then quickly pulled the two into the room to drink tea. What he said refers to transporting the prepared money and grain reserves to a fortress tower outside the county town. There, he hoarded the money and food he had accumulated over the years, waiting only for the Yellow Turban Uprising. The court delegated the power to recruit soldiers, and at that time, he could turn his servants into soldiers and make contributions to the fight against thieves and enemies. Now he naturally dares not recruit troops and horses. If this is found out, it would be a capital crime of plotting rebellion. But he can buy servants. I bought a lot of domestic slaves and sent them to the bunker for training. Although the number of people was not large, only 300, it was still a considerable force. Inner House Big Brother, when exactly did the Taiping Road get into trouble? Lu Yan asked with some confusion. Xing Darong also looked at Pan Fong with great attention, looking forward to his statement. Pan Fong frowned, shook her head slightly, and said, I don't know the exact time. The Taiping Road is not like the true road, but rather it exaggerates faith, accepting money everywhere, secretly recruiting troops and horses, and sooner or later it will cause great trouble. He only knew that the Yellow Turban Uprising was in 184 AD, the seventh year of Guangha, and he didn't know the exact month. However, 
it seems that the main force of this rebellion was quelled within a few months, less than a year, which means at most it would start in May or June, and even in January or December. It's already February now, and there may be an incident on Taiping Road at any time. Second and third younger brothers, no matter when they start a rebellion, as long as we are ready, we will not be afraid of them. Big brother is right. If those thieves dare to cause trouble, we happen to use this as a stepping stone and plan for an official position. Lu Yan's eyes were shining brightly. He was a Han family member who fell to the streets begging for food to make a living. Fortunately, he met his elder brother to take care of him, otherwise he would still be wandering around, starving and sleeping in the open air. Me too. Upon hearing this, Xing Daorong's eyes also lit up. Who doesn't want to become an official and get rich these days? On the other side. Jizhou. Big brother, if we don't rise up again, we will be caught by those guys sooner or later. We will only have a dead end waiting for us then. Hmm. Upon hearing this, Zhang Jiao, a wise and virtuous teacher, changed his expression for a moment and began to think about whether to wait until the time he had agreed upon before launching an attack. He had originally planned to rebel next month, and that would be the best solution. He could definitely overthrow this big man completely. But he was actually reported by his trusted disciple Tang Zhou last month. This led to the killing of their trusted aides in the court, such as Feng Feng and Su Feng, and even the arrest of the generous leader Ma Yueni, who was forced to flee in a hurry and hide everywhere. What he originally thought was to hide for a while longer, and then respond promptly before proceeding as usual. Although he missed the opportunity, at least it was a time agreed upon by everyone. But now, they are also pushed to a dead end and can only give it a chance. Okay, then we'll start a fight. The heavens are dead, the yellow sky should stand. At the age of Jia Zi, the world is blessed. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 System Activation Dad Extermination Mission You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 System Activation Dad Extermination Mission It's not good, it's not good, young master. Suddenly, a large group of refugees appeared outside the city. They grabbed everything they saw along the way and headed towards the city. Suddenly, a servant ran over to report the channel. This matter has caused a stir in the city. And this news fell in the eyes of other gentry, which was not a good thing, but it fell in the ears of Pan Fong, and it was an opportunity that had been waiting for a long time. He exchanged a glance with Lu Sandao and Xing Daorong, and a hint of surprise appeared in his eyes. Quick, prepare your horse and head to the bunker. Pan Fong shouted loudly and quickly turned around to pick up the long spear. Armor is in the bunker in East Zizen. He dare not hide in his home. If someone finds out, it would be a great crime. Now that these refugees have appeared, they are not yet the authentic Yellow Turban Army. The Imperial Decree has not yet been issued, which indicates that the Yellow Turban Army has rebelled, but it has not yet caused a big uproar. Ding, the Yellow Turban Uprising erupted, activating the killing function finally activated. Pan Feng's expression was even more joyful. Sure enough, this thing will only appear after the plot starts, just to avoid casually finding people to kill as enemies. Or go and suppress bandits or something ding, release the kill dad mission, kill three adoptive fathers, and follow the example of LV Bu. Reward. Title of Three Family Slaves. Three Family Slaves. Wearing this item can greatly increase one's hatred value and increase their strength value to 100, while their intelligence decreases to 30. Note. Wearing it will cause hatred towards the host from everyone who sees it. The hatred value will increase by a little every minute. When the hatred value reaches 100, it will become the eternal enemy of the host and is irreversible. Please do not use it casually, what? Do you have any more tasks? And there's also a title. Pan Phone looked at the semi-transparent text in mid-air with a shocked expression and swallowed. 
but killing my adoptive father in this era. Or three people. Do you want your own reputation? Not to mention wearing it, it's just not wearing it. Once this is done, it really can't be washed completely. He knew that reputation was very important during the Three Kingdoms period. At least some reputations cannot be carried. For example, the act of killing one's father cannot be done. The titles of these three family slaves may be tempting, but their negative effects are also too terrifying. In the era of the Three Kingdoms, achieving success did not rely solely on personal force. So, even if the force reached 100, it did not make Pan Fong determined to recognize his adoptive father and kill him, and then recognize and kill him again after a period of time. Everyone rushed to the watchtower, which had several arrow towers built. The walls were high and the grain was wide, making it easy to defend but difficult to attack. Summon 300 slaves, I have something to say. As soon as Pan Fong entered the bunker, he spoke to the servants beside him. Yes, young master. The servant on the side hurriedly went to notify. After a while, Pan Fong brought Lu Sandao and Xing Daorong to the martial arts arena. The three hundred servants below were incredibly strong, not at all thin and weak, but rather somewhat like elite soldiers from a hundred battles. This is also what Pan Fenghua spent a lot of money, good food, and good meat to smash. These people are nominally domestic slaves, but in reality, it's not difficult to run out and fight a few soldiers. At the end of the Eastern Han Dynasty, Qingping had been in place for a long time. Except for the border troops, most of the generals within the Great Han Dynasty were those who lived on a vegetarian diet. Along with those soldiers, they also drank and had fun every day, and their training had long been neglected. Otherwise, a group of yellow turban army holding agricultural tools would not be able to sweep through the eight provinces of Han like a broken bamboo. Nowadays, banditry is rampant all over the world, and there are yellow scarves plotting rebellion outside. You are also people who feed on the salary of the Pan family. The Pan family has received imperial favor, and today is the time for us to serve our country. When the yellow scarves banditry is quelled, we will return our slaves. Whether we go or stay then depends entirely on our wishes. Pan Fong shouted loudly. We are willing to follow the young master to quell the rebellion. The servants below, one by one, clasped their fists and bent down, shouting loudly. These people are not fools. They were desperate to survive in the beginning, but when they came here, there were plenty of delicious food to eat and drink. Apart from daily practice, they didn't have to do anything. Although I am a slave, at least I can still live a fulfilling life. As for leaving. In today's world, apart from rebelling outside with Pan Fong, it's just waiting for death. Stay here, good wine and good meat, they have never enjoyed it so much in their lifetime. Okay. Pan Fong shouted loudly and saw that his military spirit was available. He then shouted to the servants beside him, lift up the armor and distribute it, one set for each. These armor pieces are naturally not made of iron. Although he is also considered a millionaire, it is not easy to make them. First of all, it will take a long time and a lot of money to build 300 iron armor pieces. It is almost impossible to just cover up one's ears and eyes. So, what he did was 300 pieces of leather armor. Although this defense was not as effective as iron armor, in the late Eastern Han Dynasty, where could the soldiers afford to wear iron armor? I'm afraid it's not the Emperor's Guard who has this thing. As for Pan Fong, Xing Daorong, and Lu Sandao, they made three sets of fish scale armor. That's right, this is authentic armor. Among them, Pan Feng's is still fully armored, spending over 2,000 pieces of iron, nearly 3,000 pieces which can be said to be made with heavy investment. Wearing these, not to mention that the Yellow Turban Army doesn't even have bows and arrows, even if they do, it's impossible to shoot him dead. Even bows and arrows cannot penetrate at all, greatly avoiding the probability of being killed by stray arrows. 
With Pan Fang's over 60 weapons and such a set of equipment, it can be said that even a second-rate general with over 70 weapons would not be able to defeat Pan Fong. This is the importance of equipment. Upon hearing this, everyone was overjoyed. After taking orders, they lined up and went to collect armor. Even if these are just leather armor, they are also legitimate armor that can reduce the probability of injury. These guys are not inexperienced in actual combat. They have gone to deal with all the bandits in Whoopiing County. For this matter of armor, even with 300 pieces of leather armor, it is impossible to hide it from the county magistrate. However, which official these days is not for wealth. Moreover, the achievements of Pan Fong leading them in suppressing bandits are actually attributed to the county magistrate. How could this make the county magistrate unhappy? On the one hand, there are generous rewards, and on the other hand, there are achievements to be shared. As for what Pan Fong is training for, what does it have to do with him? As long as he doesn't rebel during his tenure, it's a good thing. It was these achievements, combined with the management of the court, that led to the successful promotion of the magistrate of Wuping County to the position of magistrate of Chin County in early last month. Big brother, wait for those thieves to come now. Lu Sandow rubbed his hands and couldn't help but want to go into battle to kill the enemy. This fortress city has high and thick walls, which are as solid as gold soup. It is easy to defend but difficult to attack. Although there are only 300 armored soldiers inside, the bow and arrow weapons are complete and there is sufficient food and grass. Even if the enemy has thousands of troops, it is not a problem for them to hold on for several months. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Chen County Yellow Turban, Head Straight to Whooping. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Chen County Yellow Turban, Head Straight to Whooping. Send someone to purchase grain, buy me as much as you have, and all my family's assets can be sold. Buy me a large amount of grain, grass, and weapons, and then let me know that any man in Whooping County who cannot survive can come to me to make a living. No one, old or weak, women or children. Pan Fong nodded and ordered again. The yellow turban uprising broke out, and the decree issued by the court is expected to arrive soon. It is completely different to resort to the current method when the time comes. He doesn't like being passive, he can recruit as many soldiers as he can now. These 300 armored soldiers can be used as military commanders and grow several times stronger. The most important provisions were naturally prepared long ago, enough for over 300 people to eat for several years, even if it expanded to thousands, it would be enough to eat. What about those men with families? Xing Daorong frowned and asked. I said, not for the elderly, weak, women and children. I'm not a kind-hearted person. I only accept strong and strong men. But if they join, they can get food and pay, and their wives and daughters can live. Yes, big brother. Xing Daorong nodded and then turned to handle the matter. He also knows that the Pan family is not an emperor and cannot manage too many things. Ten or so days later. The fluctuation of the yellow turban uprising was increasing, almost reaching its peak. The thirteen states of the Great Han Dynasty were affected by the eight states, and most of the Great Han Dynasty was in turmoil. That group of yellow scarf thieves snatched wherever they went, and burning, killing, and looting were all evil deeds. Either join the yellow turban army to fight together, or be robbed. In this environment, the Yellow Turban Army's team is growing stronger day by day. But the drawbacks have also begun to be exposed. The Yellow Turban Army was led by the 36th Commander-in-Chief, with the Grand Commander-in-Chief commanding tens of thousands of troops and the Little Commander-in-Chief having tens of thousands of troops. But among these troops, there are still a large number of elderly, weak, women, and children, and in reality, the water is very weak. In addition, with low combat power, it all depends on human life to build. It's okay to hit a small county town, but if you really want to touch any county town or dangerous area, it's not something that a small canal commander can do. Faced with the increasingly rampant Yellow Turban Army, 
the imperial decree of the Han dynasty has finally been issued within the territory of Yuzhou. Anyone who is benevolent and righteous can recruit local heroes, rise up to fight against thieves, and together overcome national difficulties. The delegation of this power would naturally make it much easier to quell the Yellow Turban Rebellion, but it would also further surround warlords. But now Emperor Ling of Han, Lu Hong, can't manage much anymore. He just wants to quickly quell the banditry and return to the era of singing and dancing. Panjiapu In just over a dozen days, due to the outbreak of Yellow Scarf Bandits, there were four refugees, so Pan Fong recruited more than 1,300 village warriors. After rectifying it, it was expanded and sent to the military. In this way, he gathered over 1,600 soldiers. Although the number of people may not be large, it is still enough for him to make contributions and protect his family. Just because the expansion of the army was too fast, these guys lacked training and their combat effectiveness was not very good. Fortunately, the one in hand is at least a long spear that can stab people to death. It's not like the Yellow Turban Army holding a bunch of hoes and agricultural tools. Thinking of the principle that soldiers are more expensive than elite, Pan Fong allocated 100 out of 300 armored soldiers to intersperse in the organization of over a thousand, and also divided out 200 armored soldiers to establish a personal soldier camp. As his number of troops exceeded 1,000, the system once again awakened a new attribute. Name Pan Fong Zi Wushuang, third rate warrior, skilled in using long spears, force. 63 Intelligence 65 Physical Strength 69 Command 32 32 points of command means that I can now lead up to 3,200 soldiers and command like an arm. If I exceed this number, things will start to get chaotic. Pan Fong looked at her data and system explanation, nodded secretly, and then turned her gaze to her second and third younger brothers. There is no difference in commanding at the first 80 points, but after 80 points, for every extra point, one can bring an extra thousand soldiers. After 85 o'clock, every extra point can bring an additional 2,000 soldiers. After 90 o'clock, every extra point can bring an additional 10,000 soldiers. After 95 o'clock, every extra point can bring an additional 20,000 soldiers. If it reaches a hundred points, then more is better, and one can control a million soldiers and strategize to win a thousand miles. Name Lu Gui's Three Blades, not a regular general, skilled in using three pointed and two edged knives, force. 56 Intelligence. 45 Physical Strength. 38 Command. 18 Name Xing Daorong, third rate general, skilled in using mountain axe, force. 68 Intelligence 49 Physical Strength 56 Command 43 My second younger brother is really useless. Pan Fong said with a slight smack of her tongue. But my third brother is okay. With this commander, he can lead over 4,000 soldiers, which is a bit more powerful than me. Big brother, when do you think this yellow scarf thief can come to us? Xing Daorong asked eagerly. Don't worry, a small group of thieves see our city with high and thick walls. How dare they come? Pan Fong shook his head slightly, comforted him for a moment, and then said, send someone to closely monitor the movements in the vicinity, especially in the county town. He is afraid that someone will attack the county town, so he will have to go and help him no matter what. In this way, more people will support themselves when the time comes. He also wished that those yellow scarf thieves wouldn't come to him now. There are more and more people here every day, and besides wanting to develop, he also wants to practice well. Chen County, 50 miles away from Wuping County, is headed towards the county town by a massive army of yellow turban soldiers. The yellow turban bandits in Yuzhou are rampant, and in just over a decade, they have captured seven county towns, not to mention nearby villages. The leader of the Yellow Turban in Yujo is Bo Kai, who is known as the God of the East. The number of talented individuals can reach tens of thousands. 
The people who depend on him include several small canal commanders such as Peng Tua, Wu Ba, Lu Bai, He Yi, Huang Shao, and He Man. Among them, He Man claimed to be the night fork of cutting off the sky, with a grand momentum. He swept out of Inchuan County and swept all the way to the territory of Wuping, with a total of more than 15,000 people. Lord Jitian Yeka, where should we go? A general under his command was puzzled and asked. He man raised his lips slightly and said with a smile, I have developed believers and strengthened my reputation within this Chin County. I will cooperate with the Eastern God to capture Yujo. Create a prosperous future for our Taiping Road. General Tian Gong will be extremely pleased to learn of it. Perhaps he will be granted a divine title by then, but it is still unknown. As soon as he finished speaking, the generals from various departments all lit up their eyes and shouted, Long live General Tian Gong. He man saw that the morale of the army was available and shouted, The front is Wuping County. With one go, take it down, and we will have our own base. May I work hard for adults. The heavens are dead. The yellow sky should stand. He man raised his arm and shouted. The heavens are dead. When the yellow sky stands. The heavens are dead. When the yellow sky stands. Suddenly, slogans fell through the sky, and morale surged. However, this army is extremely strange with old and weak women and children walking before and after the main army, while adult men and elite soldiers are walking in the middle holding weapons. This is also a ruthless move that he man thought of when attacking the city. Let those old, weak, women, and children with low combat power resist a wave of damage in the front, and then use their own elite to withstand it. With the weakness and incompetence of the official army, they can definitely achieve success in one fell swoop. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Yellow Turban Thief, Attack Whoopying. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4 Yellow Turban Thief, Attack Whoopying. Panjiapu. Report, Young Master, it's not good. Fifty miles outside the Pan family castle, a large number of thieves wearing yellow scarves have been found, heading straight towards Whoopying City. A scout returns quickly. Pan Feng's face changed as she didn't expect these guys to come right away. Quickly, go to the city again and report to the county magistrate, Mr. Zhang. Here. The scout quickly got up and left. Pan Feng quickly shouted to Lu Sandao, close the gates of the fortress and keep the whole army on guard. Send out scouts again and have them remotely monitor the yellow turban thief army. Don't approach and closely monitor the enemy's movements. Yes. Big brother. Lu Sandao clasped his fist and saluted, quickly moving forward. Big brother, what about me? Xing Daorong asked anxiously. Don't worry, with the strength of the Yellow Turban Bandit Army, it will take at least one or two days to reach the bottom of Wuping City, Pan Feng shook his head slightly. Although it is only 50 miles away from Pangia Bayo in the county town, it can be achieved in half a day with the help of ordinary troops rushing forward, but the Yellow Turban Army at least needs to start in a day. A group of rabble, with a large number of elderly, weak, women, and children, this speed cannot be fast. Whooping City, County Magistrate's Office What? The Yellow Scarf Thief is here. Jean Ping looked shocked and jumped up. If you go back to the county magistrate, my young master will have someone come to report to the master. This matter is absolutely true, replied the scout. Zhang Ping forcibly steadied his mind and waved his hand, saying, you go down and rest first. I have something else to say to your young master later, and you can bring it with you. Come on, reward. Thank you very much, sir. Tan Ma was overjoyed at the words and quickly bowed. Zhang Ping took a sip of tea and calmed down his mood. He looked at his staff member Wang Ming who was rushing to the side and asked, Wang Ming, now that the yellow turban thieves are on the outskirts of the city, what do you think should be done? This guy was also bought with money as an official. He doesn't even know how to salvage silver, 
and he still needs Wang Ming's help to salvage it. Wang Ming frowned at the words and replied, the top priority now should be to find County Lieutenant Li Qing to discuss this matter. Okay. Quickly invite Li Qing over and discuss important matters with the yellow turban thief. Zhang Ping quickly shouted to the servant beside him. Here. The servants followed orders and left. Wang Ming, what else should we do? In your opinion, can we stop the yellow turban thief this time? Zhang Ping asked with some trepidation. He has heard that every time those yellow scarf thieves break through a city, they will kill all the officials, big and small, and rob their families and exterminate their families. Even the local gentry and powerful individuals inside will be plundered and slaughtered to the death. Anyway, those who have money have no good fate, and those who don't have money will also be robbed, but they won't be killed. I have heard that the young master of the Pan family is incredibly brave, and there are two sworn brothers who are both skilled in warfare. Now, with many scenes of local bravery, he must be fighting against the yellow turban thief. Why don't you ask him for help? Wang Ming pondered for a moment and suggested. He has served as a county magistrate staff for several terms here. His family is already one of the powerful figures in Wuping County, and although he knows everything about the Pan family, he still has some knowledge. Not only did the Pan family raise their servants and servants, but their family also raised them well, or rather, the wealthy and powerful people from all over the country also raised them well. The ones from the Pan family are quite rare. He. I have this intention, but I don't know if the young master of the Pan family is willing to send troops to save him. Zhang Ping frowned, with the idea of abandoning the city and fleeing in his heart. But once this abandons the city and escapes, it will inevitably be a capital offense if pursued by the court in the future. So even if someone is as foolish as him, they may not know when to abandon the city and flee. Young Master Pan is resourceful and skilled in business. He must have understood the truth that his lips are dead and his teeth are cold. He probably won't sit and watch the county town be destroyed, but he doesn't know how many soldiers are available in this city now. Wang Ming said hesitantly. In this regard, it has always been the responsibility of the county lieutenant. They only think of ways to make money, and never imagine that one day there would be war and chaos. Okay. 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 Zhang Ping was immediately overjoyed when he heard that Pan Feng was willing to send troops. Then, he said fiercely, as for the soldiers, even if the county town is not enough, there are still Zhang, Wang, Li, and so on. Let them all send troops to help. If this city is destroyed, everyone will not be much better. Upon hearing this, Wang Ming's face changed and he hesitated, saying, Sir, this matter may not be easy to handle. It's just a fantasy to make the powerful people stand out. Unless the knife is really on their neck, they are unwilling to send troops even if they die. They would rather use those servants to guard their homes than let them go out to fight against the yellow turban thieves. Even if they know that after the city is destroyed, they may not be able to defend themselves and others, but it is still difficult for them to make a name for themselves. One day later. Five miles outside Wuping City, more than 15,000 Yellow Turban Army are heading towards this place. And there are less than 2,000 old, weak, sick, and disabled soldiers on the city's top. The military strength of both sides is not proportional, but fortunately, most of the soldiers of the Han Dynasty have armor, and a small number of poor ones have sold their armor. Selling armor privately is a great crime. However, no one cares about these at all, and even many generals are eating empty pay. As for the withdrawal of the county soldiers, it was because the world had been peaceful for a long time, and there had been no war. In addition, the national treasury was empty, so the county soldiers were all withdrawn, and the county guards had no soldiers in their hands. There are only a few soldiers in various county towns to arrest thieves, with a few hundred fewer and two to three thousand more. So, Wuping City is still quite heavily armed. 
In addition to the soldiers under the jurisdiction of these county captains, there are also selfless contributions from the powerful families, totaling 3,000. 3,000 people, theoretically speaking, this city can still be defended, provided that it is a regular army, rather than the old, weak, sick, disabled, and unable to handle military affairs nowadays. Outside the city, the Yellow Turban Army was in great force. The heavens are dead, and the yellow sky should stand tall. At the age of Jia Zi, the world is in good fortune. He man raised his arms and shouted loudly. The hundreds of yellow turban believers around him raised their swords and shouted, The heavens are dead, the yellow sky should stand tall. At the age of Jia Zi, the world is in good luck. These people are all legitimate yellow turban army, believers before the yellow turban uprising, and their hands are all knives, not those agricultural tools. However, these people still have ladders when attacking the city, and as for the rest, there is nothing else. There are no siege vehicles, let alone catapults, all there is 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 an unwavering faith. Brothers and sisters, for the sake of peace in the world. Go. Heaven is dead. Yellow heaven stands. With the command of He-Man, a large army of tens of thousands roared in unison and marched forward towards Whooping County. The soldiers on the city wall saw thousands of troops making deafening noises as they headed towards this place. Some of them were scared and urinated, and many of their legs were weak and their arms were powerless. Nyang Shipi, a group of cowards. County Captain Li Qing couldn't help but burst out and curse at the situation. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 New Tasks You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 New Tasks Immediately, Li Qing personally picked up a bow and arrow and shouted loudly, Brothers, your entire family is in the city. If the city breaks down, your family will be destroyed and your people will perish. For the sake of your entire family, we must also give it our all. Although there are many people, the other party is just a mob. Follow me in battle. This battle will be won. As soon as these words were spoken, the morale of the taxi suddenly stopped racing down. Yeah, there's also my own little one. This kind of statement is much more than empty words about serving the country, and it can also make these people work harder. The vast majority of people don't think about anything else when they can't survive, they only think about how to survive. Only when there is no worries about food and clothing, will one think about serving the country with loyalty. Follow my orders, the enemy will shoot arrows after advancing a hundred steps. Throw stones when approaching downstairs. Li Qing shouted loudly. Fortunately, He Man did not encircle the city, but directly allowed tens of thousands of troops to launch a strong attack from the front. Because he felt that he didn't have a lot of troops, it would be even less if he divided them into four sides, and it would be difficult for the enemy to break through one by one. So, Li Qing can use all the soldiers here to confront the enemy. County Captain, when will this be a hundred steps? The deputy county lieutenant beside couldn't help but ask. Li Qing was furious at the words and kicked him fiercely, scolding, wait for my command to act. After speaking, he stared fixedly at the rolling army ahead. Finally, the yellow scarf thieves were within range. Shoot arrows. Buzz. With one command, a large number of bows and arrows poured out in a crooked manner. These archers are actually only able to draw a bow for over a hundred people, and the rest cannot. So, a wave of over a hundred arrows flew out. Among these arrows, there are also many that have rusted. However, under the influence of inertia, even if the shot is twisted and crooked, the killing power is still sufficient. Breaking through the body of the yellow turban army below, it directly loses its combat effectiveness and falls to the ground, howling, and many are trampled to death by the people behind. Kill me. The yelling of the Yellow Turban Army was deafening, causing the soldiers on the top of the city to change their faces in fear. Shoot arrows. Li Qing commanded the archers and shouted loudly. At a distance of only a hundred steps, only three rounds of arrows were fired, 
and the enemy had already arrived under the city wall. At this time, the enemy's losses were only over a hundred people, most of whom were still trampled to death by the people behind them. The morale of many soldiers suddenly declined, and as they climbed the ladder, they also threw rolling stones down. County Magistrate's Office How's the war going? Zhang Ping looked at Wang Ming, who had just come down from the city, with a worried expression on his face and couldn't help but ask. Wang Ming's face didn't look very good, so he replied, when I came down, Lieutenant Li was leading his army to resist the enemy. However, there were many enemy soldiers and they still attacked the city. However, they were soon killed by the soldiers on the city and have not established themselves yet. However, in my opinion, this city should be broken sooner or later. What? Upon hearing this, Zhang Ping's face was greatly shocked and he quickly shouted, Where is Pan Fong? Where is Pan Fong? What about the young man from the Pan family who claims to have unparalleled general power? I haven't seen this before. Wang Ming's face changed a few times, but in the end, he remained honest. It's done. Zhang Ping's face turned pale as he said, let's both escape for our lives. As he spoke, he took his already prepared luggage and prepared to leave through the other side of the city gate. On the other side, Pan Fong led a thousand soldiers to stop and observe five miles outside the city. He also just arrived, allowing the soldiers to rest for a while and see what the enemy is really like. Report, young master, there are over 10,000 enemy troops, but there are a large number of women and children holding agricultural tools. Visit the horse to report. Explore again, report again. Find out who led the other party. Pan Fong calmed down and said. The soldiers he led had a hundred elite soldiers, and the remaining nine hundred were newly recruited village soldiers. Although they were not trained, they also held long spears and had much higher combat power than the Yellow Turban Army. Here. Tan Ma flipped over and mounted his horse, then explored again and left. Big brother, when can we rush over? Xing Daorong touched the mountain axe in his hand, unable to contain his excitement. Pan Feng's face remained unchanged and he said, wait a little longer. He wanted to wait until the other party was about to break through the city wall, and then he rushed out. Now charge over, the opponent still has a lot of elite, and the battle damage must be significant. In no time, Tanma returned. Report. Young master, the enemy flag is embroidered with the word, what, dot. Tanma returned to the road. What? Pan Fong murmured and confirmed repeatedly that there was no surname he in the name of the Yellow Turban Army leader he was familiar with, then nodded, completely relieved. Ding, post mission. Lead troops to defeat the Yellow Turban Army. Reward. Command plus one. Ding, post task. Kill the Yellow Turban Army's Xiao Tzu Shuai He Man with your own hands. Reward. Newcomer title. Beginner. When wearing this title, you can gain plus 3 strength, plus 1 stamina, and plus 1 overall command. Note. The effect does not exceed 80% Yujo Yellow Turban. You have contributed to the battle of annihilating the main Yellow Turban in Yujo and made contributions. Reward. Yellow Turban Enemy Title. Enemy of the Yellow Turban. When encountering the Yellow Turban Army or someone who has served in the Yellow Turban Army, one strength increases by 10 and intelligence increases by 10. When commanding soldiers against the enemy Yellow Turban, all soldiers have a strength of plus 3, a stamina of plus 5, and a morale of plus 20. Note. When wearing this title, encountering people with yellow scarves will greatly cause hatred and will inevitably be attacked by them in groups, progress. De Chu Shui. Bo Kai, 0 to 1, Xiao Chu Shui. Peng Tua, Wu Ba, Lu Bai, He Yi, Huang Xiao, He Man, 0 6. Dot. Coming to the task. Pan Fang's eyes widened, not expecting a mission to appear as well. Immediately followed was ecstasy. Killing the opponent can earn a title, 
and defeating their army can also earn a reward of plus one commander. Not to mention the richly rewarded Yujo Yellow Turban mission. The whole army is on standby. Han Foam let out a loud roar. Shua. Suddenly, the army behind stood up in unison. Yellow Turban Temporary Camp. Chu Shuai, there are nearly a thousand people on our southeast corner. Should we send troops to eliminate them? A yellow scarf leader asked. Upon hearing this, he man frowned and thought for a moment before saying, no need, they dare not come over. Just prepare your subordinates to face the enemy. How is the city's attack going? Report to General Chu, the city is already filled with our people. It will be a matter of time before the city is destroyed. Another yellow scarf leader received the report. Upon hearing this, he man was overjoyed and said with a smile, let's take down the city first, and then go and eliminate that group of people. Now, attack the city with all your might. Huh, after entering the city, we will have money, food, and white flower girls to play with. Ha ha ha. Come on, drink. Suddenly, this group of people began to indulge in sensual pleasures like joy. Since ancient times, those who have worked hard have been those poor families. Even people from poor backgrounds, once they have gained power, will not personally sacrifice their lives. Just like them, in frontline warfare, they drink, eat meat, and guide the country in the rear camp. The time has come, kill. Pan Fong shouted loudly, his legs sandwiched between the horse's back, and the horse let out a rustling sound as it raced towards the front. Kill me. Xing Daorong and Lu Sandao roared angrily and led the Qian Erlang behind them straight towards the enemy. A hundred elite armored soldiers wearing leather armor and holding long spears led the formation, followed by nine hundred soldiers holding long spears and short knives. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Battle 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 Force Plus One You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio Chapter 6 Battle 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 Force Plus One Pan Feng rode first, followed closely by his two younger brothers. When Pan Feng Li was about eighty steps away from the enemy, he stopped and shouted, Bend your bow and arrow, get ready. Bend your bow and arrow, get ready. Lu Sandao immediately repeated a sentence and shouted behind him. Upon hearing this, the hundred soldiers immediately took out their bows and arrows from behind, ran forward, bent their bows and arched their arrows, and aimed straight at the yellow turban army below the city. They are already elite soldiers who have participated in battles, trained day by day, and have ample experience in suppressing bandits. Each of them is a good young man who has seen blood. Shoot arrows. With a sound from Pan Foam, it fell. Whoosh. 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 For a moment, a hundred arrows flew in unison, rushing towards the sky and then falling down again. Ah. Ah. After the arrow rain fell, dozens of soldiers from the Yellow Turban Army fell under the city wall. Some were directly shot while others were shot and lost their combat effectiveness. However, the group of Yellow Turban Army did not stop due to this wave of arrow rain, but continued to attack the city. When Pan Fong saw the situation, he was not in a hurry. He won more with less, so he had to consume the opponent's numbers first. If possible, he should try not to engage in a short battle as much as possible. If it weren't for his inability to obtain too many horses, he would have wanted to directly form archers and cavalry. In that case, he could come and go freely, and fighting with yellow scarves would be like fighting cubs. However, he also raised more than ten horses and specially selected more than ten elite members to build scouts, also known as scouts. They rely on their own bravery, coupled with the help of fast horses, to investigate the intelligence of these yellow turban army without any harm. Arrow up. Pan Fong saw that the other party had not rushed over, so he continued to order. Hundreds of soldiers also bent their bows and arrows again. Let go. Whoosh. Whoosh. 
Arrows broke through the air and once again landed on the Yellow Turban army below the city. Coincidentally, because they are attacking the city, the personnel are relatively dense, resulting in a significant increase in the probability of hitting the arrows. Two waves of arrow rain fell, injuring and killing the 70th and 80th Yellow Turban Army. Not good, the guys over there are shooting arrows at this side. Can't they just consume it like this? Watching this behind the scenes, he man, who was drinking and having fun, suddenly felt his teeth itch with anger. Chu Shui, I am willing to lead 3,000 soldiers to defeat it. A yellow scarf leader clasped his fists and begged for battle. Accurate he man nodded and waved his hand. The upper part has already penetrated the city wall, and the people below are also constantly advancing. It's just a matter of time before the city is destroyed, and if the thousand strong troops over there haven't come over, it's okay. If you dare to approach now, it's just seeking death. Here. The yellow scarf leader, wielding a large knife, ran towards the front line. Yes, run away. Except for he man who had a horse, none of the remaining generals had a horse. Let go. At this moment, Pan Fong once again ordered the 100 armored soldiers to shoot arrows. Arrow rain flew out, and after falling, more than 30 soldiers were shot dead again. These shooters are all elite members of the Yellow Turban Army. Because the elderly, weak, women, and children have long died in the front, or are waiting in the back. Draw your bow, raise your gun. Return to the team. Pan Fong shouted loudly. Shua. 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 A commotion echoed, and the warriors returned to the team in an orderly manner. He did not let these warriors shoot arrows again, because archery consumes a lot of arm strength. They have already shot three arrows in a row. If they shoot more, it will definitely have an impact on subsequent battles. An ordinary archer can pull his bow at most 20.30 times in a short period of time. After shooting 20.30 arrows in a row, his arms are weak and he has no strength to fight for several days. Then, Pan Fang's eyes were blazing with flames, staring intently at the group of yellow scarf thieves in front of him. Suddenly, his legs were sandwiched between his legs, and he held up a long spear with one hand, shouting loudly, Kill! He held a long spear alone and took the lead. If someone pays attention, they can find that he has bilateral stirrups on his mount at this moment, and he can empty his hands on the back of the horse without much exquisite riding skills. Go ahead. With a command, thousands of soldiers shouted loudly, like sharp arrows flying out, fiercely heading towards the enemy. At a distance of eighty steps, Pan Fong rode his horse and arrived in front of these yellow turban army in just ten seconds. The long spear fiercely thrust towards a soldier under the horse. Taking advantage of the momentum of the horse, the spear let out a hissing sound and went straight into the chest of the yellow turban army. Pan Fong drew the spear and then thrust it towards another yellow turban thief. Up. I am Lu Qian, a relative of the Han family, and we are all going to die. I am General Xing Daorong of Lingling, and you are not yet dying. At this moment, Lu Sandao and Xing Daorong, who were riding horses behind, had also arrived. The horse they rode was not as good as that, but it was also getting much faster, just a few seconds behind Pan Fong. Thieves, stop being reckless. Let me, Su Air, er, come and slay you. Suddenly, a man holding a large knife appeared not far in front of him. Pan Fengxi remained calm, her legs clenched, and the horse understood and immediately headed towards the general. As the saying goes, if you capture a thief, capture the king first, and if you shoot a person, shoot a horse first. Investigation. Name. Su Air Force. 14 Intelligence. 25 Physical Strength. 23 Command. One upon seeing this, Pan Fengxi remained calm, waving her long spear left and right. In a short moment, she killed several yellow scarf thieves who dared to try to obstruct him. I am the unparalleled General Pan Fong, the thief chieftain will be killed. 
Pan Foam let out a loud shout and took the head of the yellow turban leader with a long spear in his hand. The yellow scarf leader, upon seeing this, surprisingly did not avoid it and planned to forcefully take the gun, only to see his hands holding a large knife. Bang! A loud bang came, and a fragment broke at the tip of Pan Feng's long spear, while the yellow scarf leader flew out directly and hit the ground, spewing blood uncontrollably in his mouth, his eyes wandering, and he seemed to have lost his life. Hiss, he actually killed the warrior Su Air with one move. Run quickly. The yellow scarf thieves around suddenly widened their eyes and avoided Pan Foam. Many of them ran straight towards the city wall, fearing that they might be attacked by Pan Feng's poison. And Pan Foam naturally wouldn't miss this opportunity. He rode his horse and ran wildly, every time his spear was pierced, one life would be taken away, but the other party would not harm him at all. However, after a while, this army was stirred up by the charge of Pan Foam, Lu Sandao, and Xing Daorong. Ding, kill ten soldiers and increase your strength slightly upon hearing this, Pan Feng's eyes lit up, like a divine aid, and he immediately shot chicken blood, crazily charging forward. Later, a thousand soldiers had also arrived, starting with a hundred armored soldiers, wielding long spears, facing the yellow turban army in front of them with the best weapon in hand, just a knife. It was like a tiger entering a flock of sheep, instantly tearing open a hole. The nine hundred soldiers behind saw this and their morale surged, shouting one by one to charge forward. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Kill He Man You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Kill He Man Suddenly, with a back and forth movement, the Yellow Turban Army suffered over 300 combat losses. The pressure on the upper city wall also dissipated. At this moment, Zhang San, the leader of the Yellow Scarf who had previously been ordered, also led 3,000 soldiers straight towards him. Kill. Pan Fong let out a roar and waved his spear, then killed three more soldiers. Every time Xing Darong dropped the mountain axe in his hand, it took the lives of one or even several soldiers. The three-pointed and two-edged knife in Lu Sandao's hand also takes the life of a soldier with each thrust. Young master, he is incredibly brave. Second and third masters are incredibly brave. This scene undoubtedly boosted the morale of the soldiers behind them. This is the morale brought by the leading general. And his own general is so brave, as if he had entered an uninhabited realm. Before Zhang San arrived, he saw Pen Fong slaying Su Er. That guy was so foolish that he relied on his strength to forcefully catch the cavalry charging forward. It's simply worth dying for. Surround them. Zhang San shouted loudly, and the yellow turban army behind him didn't know how to do it. They just followed the large army around the other side on their own. But with such a detour, not only could they not surround the other party, but they were instead killed by people like Pan Fong, Lu Sandao, and Xing Daorong, chopping melons and vegetables. The hundred soldiers, due to their long experience in battle, calmly advanced their long spears step by step. With each step, dozens of yellow turban thieves died tragically. Drink. 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 With the coordination of these soldiers in battle, rows of long guns pointed straight at the Yellow Turban Army, scaring more than 10,000 Yellow Turban Army soldiers to retreat, afraid of being pierced by these rows of long guns. Upon seeing this, Pan Fong couldn't help but show a hint of joy in her eyes. The soldiers behind them are also constantly helping the soldiers in the front row to resist the surrounding attacks. Thus, a rectangular battle formation was steadily advancing. Gradually, the city was taken back. On the city wall. County Lieutenant Li Qing, who was fighting with blood, was overjoyed to see this behind the scenes and quickly shouted, Brothers, reinforcements are coming, and the yellow turban thieves will surely be defeated. Is reinforcements coming? Kill me. Suddenly, morale surged on the city walls. In addition, there were no more people behind the Yellow Turban Army to join, and they were quickly cleaned up by the defenders on the city wall. Open the city gate, 
go out of the city and help the young master of the Pan family. He also heard Pan Feng's loud cheers earlier, and knew that the other party would come to support him, so he immediately concluded that it was Pan Feng. Under the city walls, Pan Feng also saw Zhang San, who was clearly different from the leader. Name Zhang San Force 25 Intelligence 26 Physical Strength 22 Command 3 Kill Pan Feng's legs clenched, and the horse ran straight ahead in pain. Pushi. A cold light flashed past, and Zhang San's neck was directly pierced by Pan Feng. Pan Feng threw his gun and stabbed several people in succession before charging out of the battle line. Ding, kill ten soldiers and increase your strength slightly, second brother, third brother, please eliminate the rebels. I will go and kill the enemy general. After speaking, without looking back, he pulled his horse and headed straight for the enemy's rear camp. Be careful, big brother. Xing Daorong and Lu Sandao were greatly surprised by the situation and quickly shouted. Then, as soon as I thought about the combat effectiveness of these soldiers, I felt relieved. Immediately, Lu Sandao said again, Third brother, please stay behind and lead the troops. I will go and help big brother. After speaking, he also rode straight into the enemy camp. Upon seeing this, Xing Daorong's eyes were torn apart. After looking at the soldiers behind him, I couldn't help but sigh and say, it's just that. You guys go eat meat. Speaking, the axe in his hand was even more ruthless. He clearly felt that these soldiers were inferior to the bandits on the mountain. Those guys at least have bows and arrows, as well as long spears. Although they don't have armor, their combat power is still decent. But these guys, even the elite yellow scarves, the group of middle-aged men who fought, actually have low combat power and do not understand the way to cooperate in battle formations. They have outdated weapons in their hands, and although they seem to have many people, they each fight their own way, being strangled step by step by them. He man became anxious when he saw his army vaguely showing signs of defeat, and many soldiers were crying and shouting as they fled towards the outside. If the war losses were too high, the psychological defenses of those soldiers would be breached, let alone troops like them. Once frustrated, those people would scatter like birds and beasts, collapsing. The reason why I haven't collapsed yet is thanks to the elite players in front. If it were for those old, weak, women, and children in front, they would have run away long ago. Take my knife, I'm going to kill the enemy general. He man shouted loudly, with no more thoughts of drinking and having fun in his heart. At this moment, those yellow scarf leaders dare not play anymore. At first, they thought it was a steady win, but this time it seems very likely that they will lose. Once they lose, their good days will come to an end when those soldiers disperse. So, these guys finally carried their weapons to the front line. With their joining, the morale of many soldiers has also stabilized. The heavens are dead, and the yellow sky should stand tall. At the age of Jia Zi, the world is blessed. After this slogan was shouted by He Man, the morale of the yellow turban army soldiers suddenly increased, and the fear in their hearts also decreased significantly. I am the knight for He Man, the thief will die. After speaking, he took his personal guards and headed towards Pan Fong, who dared to charge forward. A hundred yellow scarf warriors surrounded He Man in groups. These yellow scarf warriors were all transformed by the believers in the yellow scarf, who had long received training and were truly elite. Investigation Pan Fong rushed over while exploring. Name He Man Force 56 Intelligence 32 Physical Strength 41 Command 12 Name Matsi Force 14 Intelligence 15 Physical Strength 24 Command 1 A series of attributes appeared above those people, and Pan Foam knew them at a glance. The strength of these yellow turban warriors is in their teens, while the elite of the ordinary yellow turban army is around 5 or 6 o'clock. As for those who are old, 
weak, sick, and disabled, their combat effectiveness is below 5 o'clock. Force is the fundamental aspect, and real combat power also depends on factors such as morale and battle formation, so those yellow turban armies are really vulnerable to a single blow. Pan Phone was overjoyed to see that he man was only coming towards him under the crowd of a hundred yellow scarf warriors. With a single shot, he took the life of one warrior. With the help of the galloping horses, he successively killed seven or eight soldiers, getting closer and closer to He-Man. Upon seeing this, He-Man was greatly shocked. How could this person be so brave? There was already a hint of retreat in his heart, but when he observed the speed of the opponent's horse, he knew that his own horse could not run at all, so he decided to give it his life. Big brother, I'm here to help you. Suddenly, with a loud roar, one person and one horse rushed into the enemy's formation. Pan Phone raised his gun and fell, harvesting the heads of the yellow turban warriors one at a time. Quickly, these yellow scarf warriors became extremely fearful in their hearts, and they had no way to take the other party, but a shot from the other party would result in a life. Ding, kill ten soldiers and increase your strength slightly, I am the unparalleled General Pan Phong, how can he man suffer death? Pan Phong let out a loud shout and rushed towards he man. He man was shocked by the situation and raised his sword, intending to use his life to force the opponent to defend. Pan Fengxi remained calm, shaking her hand and turning her gun head, her two horses intertwined. Puzzy. The long spear pierced straight into He-Man's chest, while at the same time, He-Man's big sword changed direction and only brushed past Pan Feng's waist. Puff. He-Man fell off his horse and was already dead. And Pan Feng relied on the skill of fish scales and armor, without any damage. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Breaking the Yellow Turban. Control Whoopying. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Breaking the Yellow Turban. Ding, kill he man, complete the task. Personally kill the Yellow Turban Army shouts you Marshal he man. Reward. Newcomer Title. Beginner. When wearing this title, you can gain plus 3 strength plus 1 stamina, and plus one overall command. Note. The effect does not exceed 80%, he man is already dead. Those who lay down their weapons and kneel down to surrender can save their lives. Pan Foam let out a loud shout. Many of the yellow turban warriors around saw this behind the scenes and collapsed, quickly putting down their weapons and not daring to move at all. He man is dead. Those who lay down their weapons and kneel down to surrender can save their lives. Pan Phong shouted on his horse while holding a long spear and piercing into those who had not yet surrendered on their knees. The yellow scarf thieves in the distance, seeing this scene, were not sure if it was true or false, but seeing many yellow scarf soldiers kneeling down, they all followed suit and shouted on the ground. Surrender. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Please spare your life. General, be brave and spare your life. He man is dead. Those who lay down their weapons and kneel down to surrender can save their lives. As many soldiers shouted, a large number of the remaining yellow turban soldiers quickly knelt down, afraid of standing and dying again. There are still many who have been scared out of their wits and fled in all directions. Pan Phong, upon seeing this, also galloped and killed without any mercy. Upon seeing such a scene, the yellow turban thieves were all frightened and dumbfounded. They quickly knelt on the ground, crying bitterly, recounting their forced actions, fearing that the next one to be killed would be themselves. Ding, kill ten soldiers and increase your strength slightly. At this moment, the county lieutenant Li Ching who came from behind also began to guard these surrendered yellow scarf thieves with people. Li Ching quickly ran to Pan Feng Ma and clasped his fists, shouting loudly, Thank you very much, young Master Pan, for coming to rescue us. Li Ching is extremely grateful. So it's the county captain, don't be polite, I'm also from Wuping. Pan Feng, dressed in iron armor, 
sat upright on a horse and said with a smile. Just those guys, making him charge in this armor is like killing a chicken with an ox knife. Master Pan, what should these yellow scarf thieves do? Li Qing asked somewhat bewildered. Although he is a county lieutenant, he also knows that it is actually Pan Fong who truly guards the city. Moreover, Pan Feng's divine bravery was clearly visible from behind. That black armor rushed into the enemy, chopping melons and vegetables, unscathed, and even killed the leader of this group of yellow turban thieves. Kill the chief villains and incorporate the young. The rest will set up a kanji stall once a day to feed them first. Pan Fong thought for a moment and said like this. As soon as Li Qing heard that he wanted to support these people, his eyebrows furrowed and he couldn't help but ask, Master Pan, these are rebellious bandits. Not killing them is already merciful. If we have to save them, I'm afraid there won't be enough food in the county government. You can see clearly, lieutenantly, most of them are old, weak, women and children. They can't survive and follow the rebels. If we don't set up a kanji stand now, what's the difference with killing them? Pan Fong said with a frown. His actions were not simply for the sake of becoming a Virgin Mary. How could he not know that a Virgin Mary in this chaotic world was not worthy? Not to mention chaotic times, even in a prosperous era, it cannot be taken seriously. But it's for fame, and it's also to make those young people willingly follow him. These people, in his opinion, are all sources of troops. What yellow scarf thief? On the other side is the yellow turban thief, and under my command is the regular army. Li Qing looked fearfully at Pan Fong in front of him, then at the incredibly brave soldiers behind him. He nodded and said, I understand what young Master Pan means, but this matter still needs the county magistrate's nod. After I report it, county magistrate Zhang will handle it. What do you think? Pan Fong nodded and said, Okay. Immediately, he turned his head to look at Lu Yen and said, Second brother, you and the third brother should take nine hundred soldiers to watch over these rebels. I will take the hundred armored soldiers to see the county magistrate. Don't worry, big brother. Lu Yen immediately patted his chest and assured him. Upon hearing this, Li Qing's face changed and he took a hundred soldiers to see the county magistrate. What is this guy trying to do? However, he no longer has the right to speak at the moment. Let's go meet the county magistrate. At this moment, Pan Fong was no longer the same as before. From this moment on, those who hold military power will become great men. Ding, complete the task. Lead the army to defeat the Yellow Turban Army. Reward. Command plus one. At this point, the system's prompt sound also sounded. Pan Fong conducted a self-dot-examination. Name. Pan Fong Zi Wushuang Force. 67 Intelligence. 65 Physical Strength. 61 Command. 33, this battle has directly increased my strength by 4 points, increased my command by a little, and decreased my stamina by a few points. It should be due to just charging into the formation, which means this is temporary. Pan Fong rode his horse slowly towards the county magistrate's office, surrounded by the soldiers, while examining the gains in his heart. Where the title of, newcomer, dot. Force plus three, Stamina plus one, command plus one. Pan Fong glanced at her attributes again and suddenly became. Force. 67, plus three, intelligence. 65, physical strength. 61, plus one, command. 33, plus one, county magistrate's office. When Pan Fong arrived here with his soldiers, he found that there were already empty buildings, and he was speechless for a moment. County Magistrate Zhang Ping abandoned the city and fled, according to the laws of the Han Dynasty, it is a capital offense. Pan Fong let out a loud shout, gesturing left and right. County Magistrate Zhang Ping abandoned the city and fled, according to the laws of the Han Dynasty, it is a capital offense. Suddenly, those hundreds of warriors also shouted along. 
With this shout, the behavior of County Magistrate Zhang Ping was qualitatively determined. At this point, even if Zhang Ping did not escape, it was still an escape. Pan Fong turned around and looked at Li Qin beside him, saying with a smile, Lieutenantly, Zhang Ping has abandoned the city and fled. Wu Ping cannot be without a master for a day. From what you see, who should temporarily hold the position of county magistrate? Li Qin suddenly understood and knew that someone had to bow their head under the eaves. He immediately bowed and said, County Captain Li Qing is the strategist of Wu Ping. I should appoint Pan Fong as the temporary county magistrate. I wonder what young Master Pan wants. Ha ha ha. Okay. Pan Fong burst out laughing and nodded, her eyes full of admiration. Li Qing pays respects to County Magistrate Pan. Li Qing shook his head and bowed, shouting loudly. Farewell to County Magistrate Pan. The soldiers, as well as other officials who had not yet fled, saw the situation and quickly worshipped. Everyone, please rise up, let's unite as one and fight against the yellow scarf together. Li Qing, now go to set up a kanji stand, and open kanji every night. First, use official food. As for the follow dot up, I will go to get food. Pan Fong immediately ordered. I will abide by the orders of the county magistrate. Li Qing immediately turned around and left to handle this matter. Although he is a county lieutenant with over 2,000 soldiers under his command, in reality, there are still many of them belonging to the powerful. Moreover, even if it were all under his control, it was impossible for Pan Fong to be right. Therefore, it was not his responsibility to directly appoint the other party as the county magistrate and investigate this matter in the future. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Recruiting and Buying Horses, Expanding Strength You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Recruiting and Buying Horses, Expanding Strength Report, Mr. Pan, there is only over 1,300 stones of grain left in the granary. If you save some food, it will be enough for us to eat for almost a month. If you want to open the granary to save people, just the 10,000 traders outside the city may not be able to survive even if you save some food. County Magistrate Ma Qian heard that Pan Fong was going to open the granary to release grain and quickly ran over to persuade him. Pan Fong, who led his troops to the county magistrate's office, was not surprised either. After a moment of contemplation, he said, is there really only so much food left? More than 1,300 stones, seemingly numerous. But we also need to see how many people are eating. There are nearly 2,000 soldiers in this city alone, some of whom have died in battle. Now there are more than 1,500 people, and with the 1,000 soldiers brought by Pan Fong, there are 2,500 people. Each person eats 2 kilograms of food a day, which is more than 1,200 stones per month. In addition, these office workers and county officials are all fed with imperial grain, so it can be calculated that these 1,300 stones can be eaten tightly for about a month. But if we were to give food to those captured yellow turban rebels, it would be tens of thousands of people, and this consumption would be like a crazy increase. Even if it is for porridge, even if it is opened once a day, it is not so special that this small county can sustain. Sir, there really is only so little food left. Ma Qian bowed and said helplessly. Pan Feng's gaze flashed with a cold smile, and he said, This is not a big problem. I know where there is food in Wuping County. Although there is not much grain stored in the county town, only a small area of over 1,300 stones of grain, he knows whose family has more grain. Which of those landlord tycoon families doesn't have a grain reserve of 1800 koku? One by one, they have hidden an unknown amount of food. Just looking at their fields, we can tell that they have a good harvest every year. In addition, these guys are more or less controlling some interests. Excuse me, sir. Where else is their grain here? How could I not know? Ma Qian frowned as he heard this. Surprisingly, there was a grain storage area in Wuping County that he didn't know about. There are quite a few powerful people in Wuping County, 
probably they all have a lot of food in their homes, right? Pan Thome said calmly, his expression unchanged. What? Are you talking and laughing? How can this grain of power be used by adults? Ma Qian's eyes widened in disbelief. This world has never been just the domain of the Lu family, but also the domain of the powerful members of this aristocratic family. Although they are not a noble family, they are also powerful individuals who dominate the region. Do I seem to be joking? Han Feng's expression froze and he said solemnly. This. Ma Qian's expression was horrified, and what Pan Feng said was actually true, not a joke. Pan Feng himself is a powerful figure, doesn't he know how crazy this matter really is? Only the powerful have exploited these grassroots people. Where did these grassroots people come from? This world has never been the land of the common people. What's going on? Pan Feng smiled slightly and stood up, saying, this world used to be the world of aristocratic families and powerful people, but from now on, it will no longer be their world, but our world. His words were full of confidence, as if he had given everything in his laughter and conversation. According to historical development, even those warlords are actually aristocratic families and clans, and there are not many who have truly climbed up at the grassroots level, but there are still some. Just like Liu Bei, the three kingdoms still have a place at the grassroots level. In times of chaos, this world is meant to disrupt the situation and reshuffle. As long as Pan Fong doesn't provoke all the samurai tribes at the same time, just some powerful people will move and then move. What can he do? Magistrate Ma, just go and ask the heads of the Li, Zhang, and Wang families to come and discuss things. You don't have to worry about the rest, Pan Feng said with a calm smile. Ma Qian himself is not a powerful person, but he also leans towards them. In these days, without relying on them, he cannot even become an official. He nodded awkwardly, swallowed his saliva, and quickly replied, As per your order, I bid you farewell. After speaking, he bowed and withdrew. Watching him step down, Pan Feng quietly enjoyed it again. Resettlement site outside the city. Xing Darong led 300 soldiers to look at these unarmed prisoners and shouted. Line up and take Kanji one by one. Those who dare to take more than one lead will die. If you report meritorious service, you can drink more. Those who take more than one lead will die. After speaking, he personally supervised it. However, he didn't think of a better way to supervise the temporary kanji farm. He could only tell the truth with his naked eyes. As for whether it was true, it didn't matter. It was just killing. It was shock, not truth. When everyone started to drink kanji, Xing Daorong then shouted, the kanji market was opened for you by the county magistrate of Pan at the risk of killing his head. The kanji market is only opened once a day, which can live, but if you want to eat enough, you must join our team, become one of us, and work hard for the county magistrate of Pan. A middle-aged man who wants to eat, stand up. Wow suddenly, more than 5,000 middle-aged men stood up in these 10,000 teams. Many of the elderly, weak, sick, and disabled died in that war, leaving behind either women and children behind or middle-aged men in the middle. Xing Darong frowned when he saw the person who had actually stood up halfway. With so many middle-aged people, it can only be said that they are all a group of ragtag people who can easily be defeated by them. Obviously, their team cannot accept so many soldiers either. You all follow me. Then, Xing Darong led them to an open place. The training has started, and the training methods are not different. It's the two types of frog jumping and push-ups. Whoever does more, they will be admitted, and a batch of 100 people will come. This process is also very fast. In the end, the top 2,000 soldiers were selected to join the army and fill the ranks of the defending soldiers. It is said that they are defending soldiers, but in reality, they belong to Pan Feng's private army. However, he also has to handle the food aspect himself. If he wants to allocate it from above, he cannot even think about it. 
If there is still money and food above, the local elites will not recruit their own local heroes to kill the enemy. Everyone knows what this decentralization of power means, but in order to quickly quell the chaos that swept through the eight states, it can only be done this way. Not long. The Li, Zhang, and Wang family heads arrived at the county magistrate's office surrounded by a large number of guards. As soon as these three people entered the county magistrate's office, they were full of determination and no longer had the fear of hearing that the yellow scarf was about to strike. If it weren't for the huge family business, I would have left here long ago to escape. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Extortion of Powerful Individuals You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Extortion of Powerful Individuals Everyone is here, please take a seat, please take a seat. Han Fong saw everyone coming and quickly approached with a smile on her face. After all, I want to take away the money and food from these people, so there's no harm in losing a smiling face. Humph. Zhang Ding, the head of the Zhang family, snorted coldly and went straight to the inner hall to sit down, closing his eyes and saying nothing. Young Master Pan is young and promising, young and promising. Li Pan, the head of the Li family, smiled and bowed slightly, then walked into the inner hall and sat down. Pan Xiao, you're polite. The head of the Wang family, Wang Qing, showed neither sadness nor joy on his face and bowed back slightly. After waiting for a few people to sit down, Pan Feng's face lit up with joy and she strode towards the main seat. After sitting down, she looked at the old men in front of her and knew that most of them already knew what she planned to do. So, that Ding was greeted with such an attitude. After all, I am currently the county magistrate and the actual master of whoopying. Otherwise, the other party would probably not have come. I don't know why Mr. Pan invited us to come, why? Li Pan, who had a smile on his face, began to ask. As soon as these words were spoken, Zhang Ding also glared at Pan Fong with an angry expression on his face. Pan Fong smiled slightly and said calmly, of course it's for the future plan of Wuping County. Oh. Why should you, such a yellow-mouthed child, decide on the big plan of Wuping County? Zhang Ding angrily retorted in a voice. Bold. My elder brother is the magistrate of Wuping County, how dare you make such wild remarks? Lu Sandao was furious upon hearing this and shouted loudly. Wuping County Magistrate. Ha ha ha. Zhang Ding laughed uncontrollably at the words, his expression going crazy. As far as I know, the magistrate of Wuping County is from my Zhang family. When did he become such a yellow-lipped child? Is that right? The head of the Zhang family knows that Zhang Ping's abandonment of the city and escape is already a capital offense according to the law. Is it because the head of the Zhang family wants to say that it was not anyone else who encouraged Zhang Ping to abandon the city and escape, but your Zhang family? Pan Fong said calmly. Suddenly, Zhang Ding's face changed and he turned pale. He snorted and stopped speaking. Even if Zhang Ping abandoned the city and fled, why did the position of county magistrate fall into your hands? Have you been appointed by the court or by the county magistrate? Wang Qing said calmly. They called Pan Fong Xiao from the beginning, which meant they did not recognize the position of county magistrate. Therefore, it is even easier to refuse Pan Feng's request. Firstly, I am currently the temporary county magistrate jointly elected by the county captain and all the soldiers in the city, temporarily controlling the size of Wuping. Secondly, I have sent someone to quickly inform the governor of Chen County, requesting him to quickly appoint the position of Wuping County Magistrate. I believe that in a few days, the order regarding the candidates for the position of Wuping County Magistrate will be issued. Therefore, please be patient for the time being. I will temporarily appoint you as the magistrate of Wuping County. Pan Feng's eyes narrowed slightly, staring at these old men with a smile. If he hadn't done these things, how could he have easily invited these guys over? As for the county magistrate, after he settled in the county magistrate's office, 
he sent someone with a large amount of money and a letter to deliver it. Having money to give, coupled with my past filial piety, and this yellow scarf thief, we already need to guard one side, and the other side will not refuse no matter what. After all, once Pan Fong achieves victory in the battle, there will also be a share of Chin Juan Shou's credit. It is precisely because his wise man made good use of it and ordered Pan Fong to help quell the rebellion that this whooping city could be preserved. In the letter, Pan Fong wrote that with merit, wealth, and potential contributions in the future, the other party would never refuse this. You. Zhang Ding's anger came from his heart upon hearing the words, but there were also pains that he couldn't express. The other person's way of life doesn't seem like a doll at all. No wonder the name of unparalleled bravery can be spread. Brave and strategic, difficult to deal with, since that's the case, there are already many county magistrates named Lao Pan in Whooping City. Li Pan steered the tide and said with a smile on his face. Then, he took the initiative to say, I heard that the magistrate of Pan County has done amazing deeds. Although our Li family is not wealthy, they still have some surplus grain and are willing to donate 100 stones of grain to assist the magistrate's actions. I don't know. After speaking, he looked at Pan Feng's face. Zhang Ding looked angrily at Li Pan and pointed to his trembling hand, saying, You. 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 Upon hearing this, Pan Feng's eyelids twitched and she whispered to herself that there were still smart people, but not enough. Then he chuckled and said, Huh, Master Li is truly a kind dot hearted person. This move is naturally good, but this hundred stones of grain may not be enough for the thousands of soldiers under my command to eat. As soon as these words were spoken, Li Pan's face also changed. He was already determined by the situation and quickly changed his tone, intending to donate some and preserve the majority. I thought this hundred stones of grain was already sufficient, but the other party actually opened their mouths wide. And the words are full of threatening intent. There are also nearly a thousand people in the Li family who need to eat, and at most they can only gather an additional fifty stones. If there is more, I'm afraid there won't be enough leftover food at home, which could easily provoke. Li Pan gritted his teeth and said fiercely. Is it a threat, who wouldn't? Oh. Master Li, don't be afraid. I have thousands of soldiers under my command, and today I can send a thousand soldiers to settle in the Li family. If the Li family dares to cause trouble, I will do my best to help you solve it. How about that? Pan Fong picked up a cup of tea from the table with his left hand, savored it carefully, and looked at the other person with a smile. Li Pan's face changed greatly upon hearing this, and a murderous intent surged in his eyes. This is forcing oneself to death, in the opinion of County Magistrate Pan, how much food should the Li family produce? Li Pan almost gritted his teeth and asked. Wang Qing on the side also looked at Pan Fong with concern, wanting to know how much the other party was planning to extort. Nowadays, the other party holds military power, and in times of chaos, the court is too busy to deal with it. Where did they come from? So, you can only recognize by pinching your nose. It's simple, each of the three families produces 500 stones of grain, while the other eight small families produce 100 stones of grain, Pan Fong said calmly, without any ripples in her tone. What? This is impossible. You're extorting. You're extorting. Upon hearing this, Li Pan couldn't hold back any longer and slammed the desk fiercely. He stood up from his kneeling position, pointing at Pan Feng's nose and shouting loudly. Humph. It's impossible for my Zhang family to give it. Not to mention five hundred stones, even a stone of grain won't come out. Zhang Ding snorted coldly and stood up, looking directly at Pan Fengdao. Wang Qing also had a pale face and stood up silently without saying a word. If they take out these 500 stones of grain, what's the deal? This exceeds half of their family's surplus food. I originally planned to use this chaotic era to raise grain prices and make a big profit, 
but who knew that before it was implemented, I would be extorted for the most part. Oh. Is that right? Han Feng's words changed, and the teacup in his hand fell hard to the ground. Clack. End of this chapter.